Good morning and welcome to the uh, tutorial today on the Folky Chick website. Today you'll be looking at a paper prototype uh, that is being constructed for my iTech 5300 uh, class with Dr. Sandoval. So uh, this will be a paper prototype uh, website um, designed for a, uh, a business, a small business that uh, makes wooden products like signs and things like that for customers to purchase and for their home or business. So uh, let's get started and go through the website. So what you'll be looking at first here would be the uh, homepage for the website. You would click on the homepage and again you would see some information here for the seller, you would have a, a picture here uh, and some information towards the seller just welcoming you to the page. You would also have some links at the bottom uh, that would be for either their Facebook or YouTube, Instagram or Pinterest sites that uh, would link you to the uh, associated links for the Folky Chick. Uh, as we move through the website, we would then click on the About tab uh, and you would perhaps see a photo of the seller here. Uh, you would have information about the seller, how the business began, just uh, some basic information, kind of a background about the seller and why this business exists. Um, and again, this is a business, so you'll see some different links moving across the top here, one of them being shop. So we'll move over to that. If you click on the shop button, you would then have a drop down box uh, for different types of products that the seller has. The first one would be door signs. Uh, door hangers so you click on that and it would link you to uh, the page that would have a wide variety of different types of door hangers that are available based on season or events or uh, just any kind of thing that uh, the customer would request uh, as we move through the drop down we would then click on uh, one here that is for baby birth signs uh, these are products that the seller has available uh, for uh, birth announcements and, and signs like that for either a hospital room or for a baby room, something of that nature. So you'd see products here. And again, all these products would have uh, price points noted on them uh, for purchase uh, from the website. And then we would move through, uh, we would then click on pop blocks, which have been uh, identified as tabletop designs that are available uh, for any kind of season or uh, sporting event, any kind of uh, sports team thing like that that you could set around in a home or a tabletop or an office desk, something of that nature. Um, again, we would have some price points here available uh, for those. And then the uh, final link here for the shop would be for business. So we would click on that and it would take us to the page where the seller has uh, produced some, some signs for businesses uh, for their, uh, you know, welcome signs or price points for uh, a business or uh, perhaps even some signs that a customer requested uh, that are personal signs, things of that nature where the actual uh, customer wanted something in a specific handwriting that the customer can do. Uh, so a little bit of uh, customizing signs, if you will, uh, from the seller. As we move through, we would then go to the blog tab and we would click on that. That would just identify some information, upcoming events, that the Folky Chick has coming up. You can see some things, some events coming up, seasonal events where a customer could actually go and meet uh, with the seller and purchase things in person. Um, we'll continue through. Uh, and the final tab here would be a contact tab. Uh, we'll be click on that. And it would give you some information here, a way to contact the, uh, the seller. And you would be able to either see the seller's information, uh, website, link or a phone number or a email address where you can get in touch with them or you can send a message directly to the seller. Uh, so that in turn wraps up the paper prototype today for the Folky Chick website. I appreciate you taking a look at it today and hopefully we'll have this website up and running uh, within a few weeks. So stay tuned folks. Thank you.